Just about set to go. And starting this one, Chris Bubich. Boogie pitched into the seventh, earned the W in his last start. He really needed that one. Well, his team needs another one today. We'll see if he can carry that performance into this game. Okay, all set to go. Digging in is the switch inning outfielder, Emmanuel Paquez. The center fielder, number eight. Hey, stay hot now. And the pitch. And first offering is fouled off. First pitch, 111. Here you go, let it go. The wind of the pitch. They say it went. No ball. He's straight. Swing and he breaks his back. Witt picks it up. Over to first. One out in the top of the first. Batting second. The left fielder, number 29. Colton. So up now for Kansas City, Kyle Isbell. Good power, not great in the OBP department. That's out to center field. A little bloop single. So a man aboard now with one away. When you flare a ball out behind That's second true. base, it's really That's a tough shot. spot for anyone to get to. And you're never trying to do that as a hitter. But when you do, I tell you what, you're yelling at it. Back to the top of the lineup, Emmanuel Paquez digs in for the Guardians. Emmanuel Paquez. Swings through that oh, one. 0-1. Oh, and one. Looks like he went up there guessing on the first pitch. It was going to sell out to it. Didn't make any contact, though. And it's one and one. Top of the third, no score. Next one off the plate inside. Ball two. One down, base is empty. Strike two. Two, two. The pitch. And down on strikes he goes. Now two away. He came out of his mechanics there. Typically he likes to shoot the ball the other way. But that time, a little anxious. And the batter will be the shortstop. Bo Bichette reached out an error his first time up. This is a true five-tool guy. Not very many of them out there, but when he's on the field, you can't take your eye off of him. Out to center. Paquez moving under this one. Makes the catch. And there's one away. The catcher, number nine, Danny. So in now for Cleveland, Emmanuel Paquez. A switch hitter batting right. Come on, big guy. Paquez. And first offering is fouled off. Deal. And there he goes. Swing and a miss. Go to second, out, and that will end the inning. Well, trying to get in the scoring position, but a great catch and throw to end the inning. That's the way to pick up the pitcher. All right, we go to the top half of inning number six. Here's the center fielder, Emmanuel Paquez. Emmanuel Paquez. Get your pitch, drive it right here. Here we go, here we go. Bubich back to work. And there's the strike. They haven't oh, scored yet strike. in this game. And with that swing, they're definitely trying to get on the board. That's the way guys go about their business today. And he deals. Ball one. one ball, one strike. Oh, 
That one Two missed. Ball. One strike. Two balls and a strike. Here it comes. Swing and a base hit. Around first, heading for two. The throw into second. Low throw, and he can't take it out. Yeah, there we go. Nice hit. Now, back. Let's... now here is Colton Kowser. Look for him to hit behind the runner, perhaps shoot it to the right side. Left hand hitter waits. Runner takes off for third. In the air, right field. No trouble here. Puts it away for the out. And there's one away. Maybe caught that one off the end just a little bit. Couldn't quite barrel it up enough to really drive it. Here's Adley Rutschman. Listen, there's absolutely no reason to pitch to this guy right here. You right, nibble, you see if he'll expand his zone, but don't give him anything to hit. If you walk him, not a big deal. Going, you have a going, runner going. breaks for third. On the ground right side. And it's through for a hit. The throw home. It's off the mark and he scores. It's 1-1. Nice laser. Is that a boy? Well, we're starting over again. All tied up. Everyone's trying to elevate the ball in today's game. But if you can hit a ball that hard on the ground, it's going to find some holes. So the batting order turns over. And up next for Cleveland, Emmanuel Paquez. One for three. You know, Boog, if you're that base runner at second base, you want to be quiet out there. Not bouncing around, not distracting your teammate, the hitter. Make sure that he can clearly focus on that pitcher and that release point. The flip to the pitcher covering. That ends the frame. Guardians strand a couple. Score remains tied 1-1. Here's Nick Prado. It's interesting he plays kind of a, a power spot defensively, but runs pretty well. So when you're looking at that position, you're not expecting someone that has maybe above average speed, but he does. He swings and hits a fly ball, center field. Paquez makes the catch, and that'll do it. KC down in order. Still tied, 1-1. And welcome back. New inning getting started. Here's the Cleveland leadoff hitter, Emmanuel Paquez. Jensen back to work. Activity in the Kansas City bullpen. Anthony Bender up and loosening in the pen. Smeltzer, a left-hander, also throwing. And it's even up. One one. See it, drive it. Let's go, kid. And that one sliced foul. Hey, keep it going. Touch up for us. The one two. Ground ball right side. Scope throws the first in time. And here in the tenth, the leadoff man is out. Now it's the right fielder, Eric Pena. This is what stat nerds like myself might call a high leverage situation. Yeah, Boog, not sure what the numbers say, but clearly an at bat that could change the course of this game dramatically. In the air, pretty deep out to center field. Balls it in, two away. Up next to the board. Well, I love the fact they didn't quit. They had to do a little extra work tonight to secure this win, but it's what you got to do over the course of a season if you want to be a championship ball club. And your final score, 5-2. For Chris Singleton and our entire crew here at MLB The Show, thanks for stopping by. I'm John Chomby. Talk to you soon.